Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the podcast. Yep. It's Hello. Week, another episode with uh, Andrew, Zach, and Michael, all here on this beautiful uh, overcast day. Uh, it looks terrible outside. Beautiful. But it, it looks awful, but you know, it another long. day. Uh. Beautiful. <laughs> Another day being alive, it's a good day. <sighs> Even though it doesn't look the be- that that good, it's not very hot. So that's a good thing, right? You've it's been cooled trying down to sell this for weeks. It's cooled We're down celebrating quite life. a bit. Mm-hmm. Celebrating Alex, I'm life. sorry. I just I can't focus without addressing. Um, it seems part of your beard has disappeared. Did yeah. you mess with it again? Shaved it. Uh, yep, I he shaved now has the middle. A handlebar mustache, mm. as if you were a sheriff <laughs> from the Wild West. Yeah, what do you guys think? You like it? You don't like it? Downvote. My family hates it. Um, so. I, I'm going to say It's a no. little thin, at, uh, mm-hmm. like right in the middle. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think maybe if that were, weren't so thin, I think it might work. But mm-hmm. because it's thin, it looks very strange. <laughs> mm-hmm. What did you say it was today? Uh, well, like a literal mil- pair of balls. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just too weird with these being thick as fuck, and mm-hmm. then the little thing that's holding them together yeah. so small. Yeah, I was thinking like when I was shaving it. Obviously, I thought it looked okay, so I was like, okay, I'll shave it. And then when Why? people walk, when I walked out of the restroom, people were just in shock of what I look like. My, my sister was like, I hate it so much. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you look God. older. Thank you, thank you. That, well, that's no, the point. Like, look older. No, that's <laughs> the point, though. But I guess I could take some advice. It it does look a bit thick here, where it should be yeah. thinner because this this part is thin as fuck, and mm-hmm. I'm happy that they connect too because before they wouldn't connect that well, but like a year ago it was her- her- terrible because this side wouldn't connect, this side would. So now that they connect, they bridge the gap, but they're thin as fuck. Does it get any thicker there? Uh, no. Mm, no, it doesn't. So I'm kind of, you know, screwed over with that part. But it, I think it's, I think it looks okay. I mean, I no, mean, does it look better it, when it's full? I mean, yes. what was your reaction last week? Because last week I had this. Here. It, it wasn't as drastic last week. Now mm-hmm. it's just, it's really obvious that you have this bright spot right here, <laughs> right in the middle of your chin. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was, I was going for the Joe Exotic look. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the light that we, our light setup doesn't help you. Mm. I think yeah, in normal lighting, it's kind of shiny, a little mm-hmm. bit. <laughs> it is, well, it is cleanly shaved, so that's that's probably why. I'm gonna say with your head, you probably are better with a full, full beard. Mm. You think so? It's a, yeah. I, I like the full beard, but I, it doesn't grow that thick for me. So I, I feel like it looks like uh, I just like I, you know I don't I don't love it that much. You know, I'm mm-hmm. I'm not a huge fan of it. But I, I get what you're saying. Other people might think, hey, it looks better than this but you know when are you gonna shave zach how long has that been when we see that's each been other a while. Yeah, <laughs> when we started that's when i start when i started too does it get itchy do you shampoo nope. it do you condition I it? Shampoo it nice was that the deal that you weren't gonna shave until we hang out again no oh no i don't really have any guidelines i'm just he's just doing it whenever i get tired of it i'll shave it if just that's tomorrow it to it. that's tomorrow and it'll be gone mm. but who knows <laughs> It looks good though. I mean, it looks very thick. Oh, it, Super it thick. is huge. It looks like a Viking's beard. Like, right when looks... I get out of the shower, that's when it's the biggest. Cause like right now it's a little bit like matted down, but like when right when I jump out of the shower, it's like. And do you comb it too, or do you brush it? Yeah, I comb it because okay, it good. it is it's a mess. Damn. It looks you like you could it? hide like a snack in there. I, I know, probably like, could. I haven't put tried a piece it, of candy in there. Definitely could. It put some that, bacon so. in there. You know what I'm saying? Just put one in Hot there for later. Bacon in there, <laughs> <laughs> Michael. You you are tempting me with the, <laughs> these awful ideas, but oh, they sound so good. <laughs> do, does it get annoying at all, or do you do you like? Because like I, I remember when I had a grown beard, the 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 most annoying part was my mustache. It would go over my lip, so whenever I would drink stuff, my whole upper lip would get all wet. Yeah, I would have to drinking it stuff isn't so bad it's like if i'm eating something with like sauce it kind of it gets on there and that mm. annoys me so much but yeah. mm. i mean it's just you know clean it off, real it quick off and, yeah. and ignore the food idea because you might get caught when there's like flies around your beard <laughs> and stuff trying to well, get I, the food I, I mean in i there. wouldn't save it for like days i mean it would be for like all right i'm walking from the kitchen my hands are it, cold it had to be like minutes yeah <laughs> just a little purse for this for the couple minutes if, that's it. How How's you, Andrew Michael? doing? Like I know. Oh yeah. How are you? Good. Good. Mm-hmm. Like I I know that um you don't like having a beard. 
No, I don't like it at all. I'm right there with you, Andrew. He could grow a beard, though. Like, his beard comes out pretty thick, I think. Doesn't mean he likes it. Thicker than mine, but, like, I I always say, Andrew, you could totally rock a beard. Like, it it would look very good. But only if you would try it, though. I have multiple times, but you ha- you don't let it grow that long though. Like when you, because I don't like it that long. I know, but at least like, <laughs> Michael says he doesn't like it. But I've seen Michael grow his out kind of long, no enough enough where he can like kind of twirl it and stuff like that, <laughs> but, like mess with it. Yours is like very like it, it doesn't last very long. He said I don't like it. <laughs> is it just because sleeping? <laughs> it is that's when it. it when you sleep it itches and that's yeah. it. Yeah, I don't just like, like the right? way it feels when I sleep. Wow. What about a mustache? It doesn't nah, age. no. What about I think Alex just wants no. someone else in the house with facial yep. hair. Yeah. I want, want to see draw him draw away from someone else. The attention. This guy, because I've never seen him with so a beard. So point it at me. I just want to see it, bro. Because now the only fingers he can point at is himself. He can't point it, direct it mm-hmm. back to me. Like, hey, Bob, look at him. But I have nothing. <laughs> but it's that's the thing is like I just want to see it though. You like, have just multiple one time. times. No, 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 no. No, when it's longer, you shave it too quick. Because I don't like it that long. Why don't you just try? I have. No, you have. I've though. gone months. A long time ago, you went like one month, I think. Yeah. One month. I you haven't gone months. I did like it. I'm sorry. All you do is piss me off, dude. <laughs> piss me off. <laughs> I mean, all these. I guess we have to apologize for being an advanced civilization that can shave their facial hair. It's not yep. that you that you can and you can't. It's just I want to see him with a full beard. I think he would look good with it. I think he'd look different, and I want to see different look. Like when I shaved my goat to my goatee, you all thought I looked different. Even now, you think I look different. So I just yes. want to see different Andrew. Like I want to see full bearded Andrew. I want to see mustache Andrew, goatee Andrew. I just want to see that. I and agree. Is- I would like to see this, but like, uh, he doesn't want to do it. I mean, we can't force him. But yeah. like Andrew, we'll just throw Andrew? it out there. Like, really? hey, we'd like to no, see it. No, 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 no. Bearded Andrew, um, happy as day. I want to see that. I just want to see that. No, you can't. I, no, that's mathematically no, impossible. It's, it's bearded also, Andrew <laughs> cannot be happy. Because I live with him, I feel like I feel like the beard or the, the mustache or whatever could change his personality a bit. Because it's the same old Andrew. I wake up every day this. and I see the same old Andrew. It's like, Do you oh, think it has Jesus a mind Christ. of its own? No, not that, but I feel like a, like facial hair kind of changes your mood a bit, changes your approach on life. Like, when I had a nope. goatee, I felt more, I don't know, like, mature angry. in a way. Not angry, yeah. but I felt like I should be wearing, a, like, I think Zach said it, cargo shorts and o- uh, Oakleys, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I felt like I would be oh, wearing, yes. but I'm not, that's you because know, I don't wear that stuff, but I feel like I could have pulled it off, you know? But, like, and now with this, I feel like I could be raising tigers. So, and then the mustache, I feel like a, like a, like a full on, a cross between a, a the Tapatio guy and like Ron Swanson, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not like full on Tapatio man, and I'm nowhere close to Ron Swanson. So that's what I feel like with the mustache. I don't know. So I feel like this all comes back, like most things, to you wanting to change Andrew. He's not pleased yep. with you, Andrew, the way you are. I, I know. The thing is, it, it, you're right. I, I really am not. I mean, like... the. The guy might be the most boring human being on the face of the earth. I mean, <laughs> he, he might be. Like, I, there, I have no idea because that's unfortunate. Because I'm fine with that. <laughs> but no one else is. We want to see. Ex- <laughs> we want to see a different Andrew. Could you imagine a different Andrew, like an no. excited hell, Andrew, a different uh, Andrew, a happy Andrew? <laughs> a, so uh, not me. So not me. No. We had a whole a whole movement in high school called Changing Do. Mm-hmm. We were gonna make like wristbands and everything. I don't remember what it was for. I just Ooh. knew that it happened. What was Changing Do like? I don't remember anymore. I don't. I remember, remember the wristbands though. You made a wristbands. We wanted to. We, we, like we you know how to. everyone was wearing those like rubber mm-hmm. wristbands for like yeah. every cause that existed. So mm-hmm. ours was gonna be Changing Do, but I don't remember w- what we were changing. I do remember the phrase. But mm-hmm. the actual uh, meaning behind the phrase, I don't recall. I thought she would have. Now he forgot. Maybe on you, you were probably maybe. hoping that it was going to happen. I yeah, maybe. Sure. I, I. But the thing is, I don't remember what it was though. Like if it was like changing do like, uh, shoot, like the way he dressed, the uh, the. I think it maybe was maybe a like, weight loss. I, I think know. it was like losing weight or like him stop stopping saying bad words. Something mm-hmm. along. Actually, those lines. that might have been it. Yeah. That, yep, I do remember that. Yep. It was stop cursing. 
I think it was that in the weight loss thing. Oh, the weight it was loss. like a combination. It was like we're gonna, I think we're I gonna started that reinvent. And then they're Andrew. like, nah, you can't. Yeah, do that. I, I oh. always knew the cursing one. That was a long shot. By the way, did you <laughs> like hard. say why Andrew's name? I don't think we've ever said it on the podcast. My why do we call Andrew. him Do? No one knows. <laughs> well, I think. I mean, if you want to go into this shit lore, you can. But <laughs> <laughs> I think that there was. Uh, we had a lore. friend, I think, and like he he called you and Do. No, that wasn't it either. Isn't that no? No, what was it then? It was literally. I think it was literally a conversation of well, we don't. What nicknames do we have for Andrew? Like an actual one that we could say publicly. And oh yeah, there was none. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> they're all there bad was, words. It was. It was all horrible things. So we're like, mm, Drew. We can't do Drew. That's kind of used up. And then someone said, Do. They just shortened it even more. And that was it. Oh, and I think in in later on because every other nickname we cannot speak. No, oh, you yeah. <laughs> publicly. <laughs> I mean, we can, but we shouldn't. Yeah. So, but, like, and I think somebody said that since they heard do, they added the and do. Mm. And some people would call, would call you Well, there's some other con- connotation to that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little bit more. To that. But, like, but that's kind of like how that all can kind of, like, come together and make sense, mm-hmm. though. Those two um, names have a, a, you know, a bridge. Yeah. You know, it's a bridge gap. Yeah. It's a continuation, if you would say. You know, I mean, do you even like that name though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I remember, like, you know, like <laughs> whenever speak to me, brother, speak. To whenever, like, we would play video games back in the day, mm-hmm. the clan tag would either be Drew mm-hmm. or Do. Yeah, and oh, like, it fits four letters. True, yeah, yeah, that's true. But now it's something else, though. So. You've mm-hmm. lost your way, I would say. It's not as f- original. No, that's fine. You think so? Yeah. Well, Andrew was in the spotlight for many years, and I think he got tired of it. Hmm. Honestly, did it, you? It wasn't even like praise; it was like half praise, half bullying, <laughs> half <honestly>. mockery. <laughs> <laughs> now, mainly listen, by can... this guy in the white T-shirt in the Zoom call. Well, here's the thing: like, it wasn't like actually bullying. I would say uh, mockery. It was, it was well, more. What would you call it? It, it was more. <laughs> of a, it was more of sharing love for one another. No. Like, if you would say that, I mean, because you know. No. Too I, much love. There was, I did not bully you. Okay, bullying is different. That's like tormenting, making your life a miserable, <laughs> miserable hell. Which I did not do. I think, I felt like I made fun of you. Sure, picked on you. Yes, <laughs> but when I say when, when we say like bullying, no, because making fun of the word fun is in there, so it can't be a bad thing. It can't be a bad thing. Imagine making a fun school of counselor calling this guy in. I heard you were bullying. No, no, I'm picking on him. Yeah. Calling her names, yeah. That's what I would him. say because, like, that is to me that isn't bullying. Bullying is taking your lunch money, putting your head in the toilet, and fucking punching you. Literally, Wait, is this like a movie from the eighties. These are like cliche bullying. That I'm sure stuff. it's even worse now today. Anymore. I'm sure it's even worse today. I mean, I'm sure like shit. I, I I don't know. Like, was there any like bullying back in the day that you that you witnessed or like uh, even experienced yeah. back in the day? Yeah, you you. No, actual bully. <laughs> what the hell is actual, actual bullying mean? Bully. So I had a run-in with a bully. Uh-oh. In the th- second grade. Oh, right? I want to hear this. That was back in the day when I used to ride. I want to hear it. When I used to ride the bus. And I took this fourth grader's seat by accident. And he fucking... Segregation. I think... I'm pretty beat sure... Beat the shit out of you. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't beat the shit out of me, but he pulled me out of his seat and, like, pushed me back. So- Oh. And it was like, don't sit in this seat again. And yeah, it was well, like, you were oh, in his spot. What the so fuck, I, bro? If you sit in yeah. my seat again, I'm like, but I didn't know it was his seat though. I did not know that back then you could assign, you could call out seats. So I was thinking, like, hang on, this is I shouldn't be around. Question, this guy I should question like, this. Question no, no, everything. But, well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, that was obviously a bit bullshit. So I was like, whatever, dude. You're older than me. You're you're bigger than me. Obviously, I'll just mm-hmm. go and sit wherever else, somewhere else. Just stop, okay? But then after that, he never bullied me again, so it was okay. So you stood your ground. I I stood my ground, but I also um, complied. Complied, and I retreated because I knew it could win the fight. <laughs> I Captain knew America I could... would be disappointed in you. I mean, but like, what was I supposed to do? Mm. Like, throw a punch, He's throw my right backpack, you stand there, and you tell him, "No, up. you move." Oh, dude, but he, he or was just a say, scary... I don't see your name on the seat. He was a scary, scary kid, though. Like that was that was not. Throw a... him a freaking Andrew Sass ball. No, I mean? I, but I'm not Andrew. I, I couldn't do that, though. I, I, I That's not in my brain 
to that's not a, a self defense mechanism that i feel like <laughs> would even piss off the person even more and come at me he would come at me even harder see that i feel like if andrew actually did that to somebody that was bullying him i think he would be dead by now honestly like there's no way yeah. that because I they feel like murder a lot. Of, <laughs> I feel like if, if because that's what I'm saying. Andrew never was actually bullied. Like that if was. he was bullied by an actual bully of the school yeah, or a bully of of some people, and he tried that shit, he might be fucking dead. I'm serious because like okay. that's why I wasn't a bully because I, one, I'm his fucking brother. I deal with that all the time, and I've learned to to deal that's with no it. No excuse. No b- bullying isn't about, just though? isn't just physical stuff. It's but, more than that. you know, back then we were only in second grade, so all we had was physicality. Nope. I mean, we weren't like doctors and nope. fucking no. shrinks. Words. You, you, verbal. You had limited bullying. words, though. You couldn't read. Remember? No. But, words. like, kids can, like, start <laughs> rumors and stuff. You should be able to read by second grade. <laughs> <laughs> second grade? I you was kidding? able to read. <laughs> this damn joke. I've <laughs> gone too far. Can't Andrew read. can read, ladies and gents. He can read. Yes, I can read, just not at a high level. Just not very fast. He needs to oh, go over some words. Oh fuck no! Times. I read so slow. <laughs> oh, he was he was telling a joke today. He was saying like it wasn't a joke. It was factual. <laughs> I thought it was so. I thought that was a joke. Like it was. I mean, if you know how to sound out words, you can at least make it. I think. Like okay, that was the point. I mm-hmm. said I'm looking them up to see what they mean. I'm not just reading to read. You but there. I mean? But you said, they were, a you said that they were names, though. Remember today. I was talking about something else. Yeah, we were, we were talking about a book fucker. that that um, <laughs> um, the book Dune, right? Um, our brother bought it just to read for fun, right? And <laughs> we were talking like, Andrew, could you couldn't read this book? It's like it was like this thick, right? Maybe even more. Like, like that would take your whole lifetime to read. He's like, I could read it. I just have trouble with the names of the characters. And then my sister's like looking at it like, Jessica. Really? <laughs> like, one of the characters is named Jessica. It's like, okay, no, not that one. He said not that one. She's, like, flipping through. Paul? Like, no, there's some that are much harder to pronounce. I was like... They probably are. I, I looked it up. I think it's their last names. Uh, this is why Like, I a lot of them are, like, people. ridiculous. Like, I can't even pronounce most of them. But it's but then sense. you were... It's like you wouldn't do the, the research and look up how to pronounce it, though. Yeah. You would, though. So it wouldn't take you that long to read the book, then. Mm-hmm. Probably, I don't Unless know. you're a really slow reader. I am a slow reader. I told you He's that. got work, man. Started The conversation started with I am a slow reader. Very slow. Like, today blew my mind of how slow you said that you read uh, not even a full 20 pages. Yeah. Guess how long it took this guy to three read? Three hours. 14 pages. Uh, not I, I guess it depends on, like, the density of the, of the script. Like yeah, the, some of them, like uh, like kids' books, like sure, fourteen pages could have like twenty words on it. Um, no, but, it wasn't like that. Not a, not a children's book, like an actual. Right, well, tell book. us, tell us. It took yeah. him about an hour, I think. Right. Yeah. But the thing is, you've had that book forever, though. What? What's, <laughs> what? The point is, you don't <laughs> stick with it. Oh Jesus! You don't Christ. continue to read it, though. And it's not to bully you. It's to say that. <laughs> Back, you're in, picking on him. The other podcast right now. that happened. This, is out of love. this continued. <laughs> I'm sorry, Andrew. It we is so bad today. With Alex saying he doesn't bully, and now we're picking on I you. Don't, I don't bully him. No, I make fun of we him. We have an example of bullying. Make fun of him. This isn't bullying. <laughs> He's not bullying. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And I was thinking, like, maybe, maybe I should read this book. Maybe I should stop bullying. Maybe I should read the book <laughs> Dune. That's all he's getting no, out of this. Is don't you reading dare. A book. Don't I you, might read it. Don't you dare. Why not? Never read it before the movie. I just want to read it for fun, though. Never read it before the movie. In my opinion. That's, not, that's not reading it for fun. Never you're reading it read to read it, it before, before the movie. No, I'm saying read it for fun, though. Like, yeah, but you're, are you, that's do not you reading plan it on watching fun. the movie, though? Yes. Don't do that. Why? It will ruin it for you. I highly doubt you were ever going to read this book I if wasn't. the movie wasn't going to Okay, well, so, so, so it's not for fun. You guys want to talk about Dune, though? What yeah. is there to talk about? Okay. All I could talk about is the trailer. Yeah, I haven't read I the I want to get your opinion on that, though, because it's supposed that's to be like a... Zach's a, probably watching it right now. A new, cool... The trailer? I've seen the trailer. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought you were catching up right now. It's supposed to be like this yeah. new, like... Something new. Well, <laughs> it, it is technically going to be a new movie. Right? New? It is new. 
Because there's an old movie. <laughs> there's an old movie from, from 84. The... Show yeah. some respect. And then there's like another, like a series, I think, or a longer version. So it's a reboot. Sort of. Nah, not really. Remake. Remake, yeah. Remake. Yeah. It's supposed to be a very, very interesting sci-fi world. Um, never read oh, it. I'm just going to love this. Yeah. <laughs> Can continue. But um, I got to say, the, from the trailer itself, I was like, this looks really cool. I should either read it or watch it. Now, like, obviously, it's supposed to be broken up because, like, from what I've seen, I actually saw the book. It's fucking thick as fuck. And what I heard is that they're going to break that that one book, I believe, up into multiple parts. So basically what it's saying is this book is going to be, like, either half or a third of the, the first book. And they pray to God that it makes money so they can make continue the story. <laughs> so and like I Maze hope Runner. that happens because... <laughs> Maze Runner. If it... <laughs> Maze Runner. <laughs> uh, he just mentioned. Yeah. Continue, continue, oh, go on. But uh, but what I'm saying is like I hope this actually <laughs> it does well because I think it looks really freaking cool. But I just mm-hmm. hope that people actually see it though, so they that won't. it can make more money. You know what I mean? It's got to come out first. Yeah, oh! Pandemic. Who knows if it's gonna come <laughs> well, out? Well, it's supposed to come out in December. I think that's enough time for no. people to open up theaters. Never mm-hmm. underestimate the power of dumb people. Well, you don't think it's gonna open up? Maybe. I think maybe <laughs> between now and then it might open up, but then like before, everything will shut down again. I am cautiously <laughs> optimistic. That's it. I'm expecting it to see it, but I won't be surprised if I don't. Mm-hmm. I got really excited when I saw how many Marvel characters there were in it, like the actors. You know, oh, you like, got Dave like, Bautista. Uh huh. You got Josh, Josh Brolin. Brolin. Mm-hmm. You got uh, there was another one. Best Aquaman. Marvel, character. but he's DC. No, there was another one. There was another Marvel hero. Zendaya? Oh, well. But she's not yeah. a hero. Okay, well, she's from she's Marvel. She's Mary Jane. Because I mean, superhero movies, you know. Yeah! Like the, the best, right, Andrew? <laughs> those are the best. No. So, no, no, no. I'm, I'm interested. Oh, I bet. Yeah, yeah, those the best. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck all the rings. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it wasn't, man. That, that wasn't a slide of Zach. That was just someone else who's not here who was really interested in Dune. Um, <laughs> Elijah. Alex, do you think Timothy Chalamet is going to do well? I think so. Tim- I think he's a good Timothy. enough actor. I've only seen him in one movie. Timon Charlemagne. Um, uh, Netflix Timon is the king. He's really good in that movie. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I, I like... Uh, I've looked up, like, the, the the old movie and then the comparison with the new movie coming out. He looks just mm-hmm. like the old actor who's playing the same character. You know, they're going for the same look and everything, obviously, but, like... I think it looks good. I think it really looks I good. Saw, I saw uh, some kind of tweet, and people are mad that that movies are going to start treating him like a new Tom Cruise. Like, mm. they're saying, like, he's not that good. Like, he he's just a handsome man, so they're just going to start putting him in a bunch of stuff. From what I haven't I've seen, seen any of his movies, so. From what I've seen, he's pretty damn good. I would say he's a pretty good actor. Um, mm-hmm. I, know, I know he's done other movies. Um this movie called Call Me By Your Name that I heard he was good. He was nominated for an Oscar on that. And uh, I know that he also did a movie, Little Women, which was also good, but I did not see mm-hmm. But from what I have seen, I think he's pretty good. You know what he looks like to me? Have you seen um, The Corpse's Bride? <gasps> uh, I haven't the guy. seen it, but talking about the main I know guy? what he looks like. The main about. guy. He does yeah, look yeah, like, he does I look see like that. that. That jaw bone structure, I'm like, he looks like a Tim Burton character, but. Mm. Alive. <laughs> <In real life. laughs> um, Zach, are you excited to see Dune? Are you gonna are you gonna oh, watch he's it? He's also an interstellar. But um Oh he is, yeah, you're right. Yeah, he's uh the the son. He's the son uh, before, before he leaves he goes, yeah. off into space. Oh uh, yeah. But I was, that's a minor part. I was just yeah. looking through his thing <laughs> to see if uh, I had seen him in other things. But um yeah, I'll see it. Um I know a lot of people were saying because it's so dense with like world building and everything, they thought it was a lot like Lord of the Rings, where it's like it's impossible to make this as a movie and it be good. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so, I mean, I at least from what my dad has told me, he watched um, the old Dune movie and he's read the book, and he was like, "Yeah, that that was horrible. That was the worst thing ever." So I'm just, you know, I'm hoping that this is good because I know a lot of people are big fans of Dune. So you know. Hopefully they get a good movie, and hopefully I get a good movie. Feels like I know Alex is excited. I am, yeah. He needs a movie. He needs to be entertained. I want a nice, you know, an epic story again. You know, I feel like I was cheated (laughs) out because End End Game ended with Infinity War. (laughs) Literally, those were like the last, those last epic (laughs) movies, right? right? 
<laughs> then I was hoping that how. <laughs> well, I, because of what I'm saying is I, I, how I thought I was cheated ended? out of an epic story. What do you mean? There's like uh, ten years of an epic can story. Can I just? Uh, I, I thought I was cheated Denny. from um, the latest Star Wars trilogy, which kind of bummed me out. And I was thinking like this. <laughs> oh, this you want like a new like like build up and you're, like I want a new sci-fi a world that I can invest Ooh. in. That's not superhero or Star Wars. Have you seen Wars. Riddick? I have not seen Riddick. It's pretty new. It's an up and coming Scott- actor called <laughs> Vin Dweezil. <laughs> <laughs> See, but uh, Dune you know. gave me similar vibes to Riddick. Really, it gave me vibes yeah. to nothing else but Dune. Um, what was it? Game of Thrones a bit. The whole with nope. the whole family dynamic. No, the whole no, family no. Dynamic. <laughs> nope. That's what I. Got. Vibes. That's what I got. Wrong vibes. Okay. All right. Vibe well, that's, check. That's your. That's your opinion. Call the that's fine. But I was just saying that I kind of got that feeling with. You know, his family versus another family and all that. I, th- that's what I'm getting from it. Mm-hmm. What, in the trailer, there's that one scene, right? I'm a big fan of riddles and puzzles where he has his hand in the box. Damn and you. he has to, like, what does she tell him to do? Do something. Like, get your hand. Like, if put you your, take hand your hand in the put thing. Hand and in if it. you yeah. take it out, she'll kill him. Yeah. I you thought it was going to be, like, some kind of game. Like, oh, how's he going to get his hand out? I think but it's he like just a. Stands um, there while a bug's, like, attacking his hand. Yeah, I don't something. know what it is, but it's like a thing. I think it has to deal with the whole thing when he's talking about fear, is a mind killer, I something think like that. that. I part think that's is in the old movie. So if you really want to know, just watch the old movie. I, it's mm. also probably in the book. Mm. And so Elijah's probably just dying. Furious, <laughs> punching the screen, cursing. This, I feel like this might be like Tron. If I try and go back to the, oh. watch the old one, I will die because it's die. So bad. Die. Of yeah. joy. I've seen some <laughs> scenes from the older Dune, and it's like the scene, you know, like when uh, Timothy Chalamet and Josh Berlin are fighting with like mm-hmm. the knives, and they have like this force field around them. I yeah. looked at I looked up that scene from '84. It looks terrible because you can tell it's just like a big old square on their body, and then other like rectangles on their arms, and it looks horrible. So it it definitely yeah. does not hold up visual wise. Damn. So yeah, I think that'd be a little bit of a tough thing to get through but yeah tough. maybe read the book i don't know if it's from what so everybody I, what i've heard i can't it's even like read really the book good. for class shit i ain't gonna read for fun you know what Screw you that. could you could try audible listen to it that could i'll just watch the movie at that point <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> well i know but i'm just saying like if you're interested Got and it. you want to see something to read about it see? now you can here. i said read oh. or here <laughs> yes whatever yeah me and andrew are gonna be in the theater with our popcorn watching the film Screw mm. the book. Mm. Well, the reason I say don't read it beforehand because You'll in be my experience, you're only yeah, you're basically just going to be disappointed, and you're just going to pay attention to every little detail that's not like the mm-hmm. book. Well, I feel like that is only for you though, like Probably. because when I read The Hobbit, and I because I read it like right before I saw it, and then when I saw it, I was like, yeah, that's different, yeah, that's the same, but I wasn't like disappointed, and I wasn't like, ugh, I hate everything about it. Because I know that, obviously, that they can't put everything that's in the book in the movie. Because they just can't do it. Well, in The Hobbit, There's... they put more. <laughs> yes, they, yes, they yes. They reversed it. What I'm saying is, when I, when I finished it, I watched the very first part, though. Which was a lot like the book in some ways. In other ways, it was different. But what I'm saying, what I'm yeah. saying is, like, yeah. you, shouldn't, you should be able to differentiate what you can read in a book and imagine in your head and visually see it. It's very different. It's a different medium. That's why they change no. things. Yes, but that is. It, so Sorry. I, this is not just Andrew. I mean, <laughs> this is a really common thing where, like, a lot of people, they warn you, like, hey, don't read the books before you watch the movie because, mm-hmm. oh, like, sometimes they'll screw up. Like, it's the same exact scene from the book, but they kind of, they twist things around because obvi- it is a different medium, so they switch lines around, like, oh, we'll have this person say this, or whatever, and then it ruins the the flow of, like, what's actually supposed to be happening, like, in the story, mm-hmm. and so that's what gets people mad, and then if they ruin, like, oh, there was this really great moment, and they did it completely different, so it's just like, wow, mm-hmm. that well, just sucks. I, I will <laughs> say this, that is that is definitely not a good thing, right? That Whenever that happens, that's not a good thing. But what I'm saying is, what I will say, I said this with Harry Potter. Oh, hell! I, 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 Get him! I, I, Jack I, wasn't here for this. I think that I you oh. should be Jake Ryan, able please to... Please arrest this man. To just... <clears throat> I'm not saying, like, get over it or anything, but just <clears throat> kind of just think, like, this isn't the book. It's. It, I know it's not the book. Let it be the movie. Just let it be the movie. You can easily do that, 
right? It's it's totally fine. Clearly not. Some, but I'm just saying that some people with that, they 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 just need to let go of it. They, 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 like it, they, it feels they, like they're so attached to it. It's like yeah. you still you no no. But what I'm saying is you still have the book. You can go and read the book, but this is the movie. It's going to be different. And if it changes things, you shouldn't take it so personal. You still have the book. It's not doing anything <laughs> bad for the book. The book is still the same. And the movie's different, but it's still the movie. Just differentiate them. It's not that big of a deal. Like, <laughs> I there are some people... This. I'm sure that there are some people that that don't like Peter Jackson's version of Middle Earth. Oh, there are. I, there, it's like, but they have the books. And the people who have the books will continue to love the books... People who like the movies and people who like both will have both. It's just that. I That's feel like you're nitpicking. Like, you're, like, picking <laughs> out, like, extreme groups of people. Like, I mean, I read you Harry sh- Potter, and, mm-hmm. like, I, I consider myself, like, I'm probably a bit more of, like, a, on the purist side. Like, I like things to be more like the books. But, like, I enjoyed those movies. I thought they were fine. But, like, mm-hmm. obviously there are those extreme people. Like, especially with Lord of the Rings, there's, like, oh, there was no Tom Bombadil. Elves shouldn't have been in Helm's Deep. And they hate the movies because of that. And like, yes. that's one extreme side of it. And I think that's what you're focusing on. Yes, well, that's, that's what I'm focusing on. But though. like, th- but those people, I feel like, are so damn vocal about it. It's like, you don't need to be this vocal about it. Like, you, you can take it for what it is. <laughs> and just, so and so just, <laughs> and life, you're so offended life, for the movie life, industry. Life, life will go you on. Life will show. go on. There you go. But okay. if you like both and you can, ex- you can see why they did this and that and this, change this okay, about, Elijah? then it, you're going to be fine, though. Your <laughs> yeah, life will move on. It, it's, it's nothing personal about it. I'm not trying to out you or anything. I'm just saying that. But you're also being like greatly <laughs> you're offended. You're calling them out. And saying, I'm offended. I am. I, you know why yeah. I am, though? Just you know why I am? Be. But, I, but you know, the thing is, like, it's yeah, I'm not like, bothering you. I'm just saying, I don't read the book. I won't read the book. You can. You said it's my opinion. No, no, no. You said you shouldn't read the book. You shouldn't read the book. You said, said that. I said I He's saying would. that so you aren't disappointed. <clears throat> but I won't be disappointed in that, though. I, like... The reason, Isn't like, it so much better to not know what's going to happen? And then when you go back, it's like, whoa, this is where inspiration from this came from. This is where that little snippet of dialogue was hidden in there, but you don't know until you read the book, but you're now you're reading it, and it's like, oh, shit, oh, shit. It's better <laughs> that, to do that, that afterwards than to do it beforehand, because then you're like, missed it, missed it. What the fuck was that? <laughs> missed it, missed it. That, that could, but that's you, though. That's you. But it's not everyone? No, it's not me. Because you already it's know what's going to happen. It's not me, because, okay, because, like, since I already know, the, like, for The Hobbit, that book has been out for fucking decades, bro. Everybody knows if they haven't, like, if it's not really a spoiler, really, because it's already been published and it's been out for decades. So, like, if you don't read it and, like, you're spoiled on it, that's your own damn vault. That's your <laughs> vault. So, like, if if it's, uh, it's, it's very complicated, you know? <laughs> like, I'm not trying to out anybody who loves the book. You love the book, great. That's great. You love the book, and you and then if you hate the movie, you hate the movie. But you shouldn't take it personally. And be like, this is why you ruined it, ruined my childhood. No, that's that, that's stupid, because you still have the book. Anyways, shit. Can't wait to see it. <laughs> Think it shit. looks cool. I might read it. So might is this it. the same response you give to the people that um, don't like Bane in The Dark Knight Rises? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Wait, so wait, 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 wait. So even the people that created Bane and drew Bane, the original Bane. Here's what I'll say. Who cares about it? The original Bane, the traditional Bane. I've and seen he's it. Kind of been like that. And he's been since. like that forever. <clears throat> and they'll always have that Bane. This is a different Bane. This is a different Batman universe. Mm. If you didn't get that from the first movie, I apologize. What the hell are you talking about? Arts that worked on Bane. I yeah, yeah. I, I mean, for these comics. I mean, great for you now. because if oh, you have you. Suc- you have successful comics, you have a successful character. You have people that love your character just because it doesn't look like not him the same way in the movie. That clearly looks like that. The, the, the characters don't like look that how they are in the comics. You should have known that this might have been a possibility. Okay. And, I, and I'll say this: I'm not a fan of the comic book main. one bit. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> one bit. I think he's one of the worst looking. Worst characters I've ever seen. All I'm hearing from you is visuals, what he looks like. You have no idea what the actual character is. And the Bane in the Batman movie sucks 
ass. Mm. Both the appearance and the way he acts. That's mm. that's fine. That's your opinion. You Boom. Have that. Okay. It's fine. That is, he that is true. <laughs> he I, can't agree. I, 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 I don't think that he sucks as a character. I think he's Because a little... you have no other source material to compare it to. That, that's why I'm saying that. that oh, that's this why is the I'm whole thing. That. This is the whole thing of Hugh Jackman is Wolverine all over again. That's why I'm saying that's, that, though. That's all you that, know. That, 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 that's why I'm saying it, though. <laughs> that, I, since I have no other information... Oh, since I have come over since I have no other information to base it on, I can't say any more. I can't unless I go. But he's out not. Of, out it's of my not way. like he's an original character in that movie. He's based off of one that they just threw to the side. Maybe because it didn't fit in Nolan's universe. I mean, Nolan <laughs> is. How would we? How would we know? They didn't do it. Well, I'm sure he had conversations about how they were going to approach that and what he wanted to do in that story. But clearly, it didn't work in his universe, so they cut it out and made a new a new Bane. No, you can't say clearly. We don't know if it worked or not. We don't know if they did do it well, or not. Clearly, yes, because the Bane we got is the Bane we got, and it's not the original Bane. So I can say clearly, it didn't work, and they tried this but way, and they made this. That's why You're I'm saying assuming that. that they tried the other. I'm one. assuming that's in the fucking movie is the Bane we got. I'm not assuming shit. That's official. That's there. No, <laughs> no he said you're assuming that they actually tried to write the story with the normal Bane. You don't like know that, book Bane. They could have. That's you what Michael's saying. You don't know I'm that. I'm saying you don't know that. You're saying clearly it didn't work. <laughs> so they used a new one. <laughs> what I'm, what I'm saying, crumbling. What it's I'm crumbling. saying is that... Knock him down! That you, you can't... No, because like... Okay, no, so I'm breaking the goddamn y- fortune. You're saying, that I'm, you're saying that I have no idea if Christopher Nolan... And all those boys were 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 toying with the actual uh, like yeah, original Bane. Him. I haven't talked to him, but I'm what I'm what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is. What are you saying? I don't think don't that they. Me. I think they might have toyed with it, but I think in the end of the day, <laughs> they were like this Bane, the Bane that we're talking about. You know, the the fucking poison tubes coming out of his body, grotesquely big, would not work in that universe. I'm just I'm, I, that's what I think. That's, that's an a, assumption. Mm, no, I think uh, that might be a little leaning more to, you know, that's what happened. That, that's what I think, though. But you don't know. So, <laughs> God so not, damn it. By not, for, <laughs> not for certain. I, 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 I don't know for certain, but that's what I think, though. It's called an assumption. All right, we should shift away from that because I'm getting heated. All right. <laughs> You're Alex. getting heated. I yeah, bet yeah, yeah. Michael is, I am, Zach's not, and Elijah's blasting <laughs> wherever he is. Man. Mandalorian season two, buddy. Cancel. See those? Yep, canceled. I saw the, the 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 pictures on the magazine. Mm-hmm. Yes, I did. Looks good. Looks did, very. Didn't promising. give me much. It looked Not like much. they could have yeah, been yeah, from yeah. season one. Mm-hmm. Looks the same, right? I mean, like it just yeah. that we know that there's going to be a new season. That's all we know. He did not change one piece of his clothing. At least not those pictures. That? Yes, I agree. And you mm-hmm. know. Kind of a snooze fest of an article read, I think. Um, <laughs> oh my god, it, it wasn't very good. I mean, it was pretty boring. Like, yeah, yeah we're back doing a different storyline. It's going to be a lot more, um, not as individualized, um, but which is cool, I guess. But yeah, exciting, pretty cool. Where did they even film that show? Do you know? In L.A., they have this thing where they could uh, shoot in a studio and have like a screen that's like 360, and they can just shoot whatever like environment they want. And like they have like a uh, no green screen. It's a video game. Yeah, it's a video game. They even use like game engines to make Unreal the Unreal Engine. Unreal 4. Engine to to make the the, the show. The Fortnite what? engine. It's a colli- yeah. It's <clears throat> the ultimate collaboration. This is the Zach and Alex world colliding. It's colliding. It's pretty cool. I like it though. It looks good. Yeah, I actually do think it's pretty fascinating how they do it. It's really good. Like I did. You not can know watch that. like behind the scenes stuff where they change everything on the fly in the game engine and. It still looks photorealistic, so mm-hmm. you can change like the cloud coverage or like the mm-hmm. I forgot what the word is like lucidity of certain materials, like how shiny they are. I forgot. It's Every time cool. you guys say game engine, my mind goes very Andrew, <laughs> and I think like there's like a giant like engine in the building that they're just <laughs> plugging all their computers <laughs> into. I got a big old <laughs> supercomputer. <laughs> That's where the game comes from. I don't think that's, that's what I think. It's nothing like that. No, no, it's nothing like that. Yeah, it's that's really what comes cool to my though. Brain. It's really cool. I like it. And mm. um, new season's supposed to come out October thirtieth. Supposed to get a trailer, I think, soon. I think. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's gonna Alex, be dope. Last week, I asked you to watch the show called Away. I did. Mm. Have you given up on it? No, I haven't. I've only seen one episode. I was gonna do one today, Dang. but I forgot to do it. But I am gonna do it. I'm gonna finish the season. Mm-hmm. I, I will tell you this. And I told you other uh, before a little bit, but I'm going to get more into it. 
I I'm so excited. So I enjoy the show for what it is. Uh, it's code for bad. And dude. the show <laughs> is basically they're trying to go to Mars, right? I won't say mm-hmm. what happens during it or what happens. But this team of astronauts led by Hillary Swank, which I think is hot. I don't like that reference, but um, continue. <laughs> if you watch The Office, you would know. Damn The Office. Um, but <laughs> she's very good in the show. I like her a lot. Um, and she's tasked with an international crew with um, somebody from Great Britain, Russia, China, and India. I think, Whoa. I think, I think, and it makes a pretty, <laughs> not, it, it makes a cool dynamic. Does it? I, I like that, and I like the whole special effects that they have for being in space and all that, and all the stuff that they have. The one problem I kind of have with it right now is, is that it's a little bit leaning on the family drama sort of things with her family and stuff. There's some <laughs> stuff that she has with her family and her kids and her husband and all that. I'm not a huge fan of it. I, I, I mean, like to be honest with you, I think it, I think it like kind of like under like it, translate Andrew. What is he really saying here? Hate no, that's not that. It's just like I feel hates like hates women, hates kids, hates love. <laughs> There's our here's our Has objective. No our objective is you know the the premise of the show is what I believe. And no, then there's this know. underlining thing that kind of gets in the way of what I want to see. That's so, that's and, a constant struggle in the show though of like you're our leader like the mission comes first mm-hmm. and then it's like do you do we do this to like completely soothe your family's worries or do we do this even though it's oh risky. so it's the plot mm-hmm. of Interstellar. But Alex, you like Interstellar. So what's the problem with yeah. this? Is it because it's starring a woman? No, no, no. <laughs> no, that's not it. Lead role? No, no. Like I said, I like Hillary Swank. Okay. What I'm saying is that that was just one episode, and that was heavily in the first episode. I know there's like, what, ten episodes, I think? Mm-hmm. So either... I finished it yesterday. You got nine more to go? I know. I got nine more to go. So either we're going to have a nice balance, which I hope, or one is going to take over the other. Now, the one I want to take over... Is obviously Mars, but I have a I, I've got a I got a feeling in my stomach that it might be the other way around. <laughs> I'm hoping that it levels out. I'm, I'm hoping that I hope that because I think if you have if you have a good balance of that, then I feel like it's gonna work. <laughs> but I'm I'm saying that first episode was heavily family, heavily. Why are so you I was yelling? Like, Whew. <laughs> They're like two. Now, that's, that's not to like say connected to that's characters. not to say that I didn't like yeah, all of the family stuff. Huh? It's not to say I didn't like all the family stuff. I actually enjoyed. I'll say this. I think the daughter was the best <laughs> act, the best actress on the show. <laughs> okay. I have to say. <laughs> okay. She there's some very emotional parts with her that I thought that she did very, very well on. And I was like, damn, I've never heard of her, but she Gosh, was a, the biggest bullet lady. She was a she was a kid actor. <laughs> Zach, you would hate it, but I think she did pretty well. <laughs> I, I thought that she was like one of the best parts of the show so far. Very emotionally attached. I like it. So, I mean, it looks promising. Ooh. It looks good. Visually looks great, I have to say. Mm. Well done. Well done, Netflix. Well done. However, I, I, I'm kind of, <laughs> you know, I'm kind of torn because the space, Tell that, us in, why. the space and the effects in that show looked a lot better than in Space Force, which had a much bigger budget. So I was thinking, like, in Space That's Force, probably, there was barely any space. So I was like, what's going on here? You know what I mean? The, the, I bet Space Force, that whole the whole sequence with the monkey, that took like all their money. I think so. Yeah, because that was that, so much CG. That was a ton time. of CG, and I was like, this looks horrible. I mean, I mean, mm-hmm. you can tell it was fake still. You know, like obviously it's not going to be a real monkey because you can't train a real monkey to do that. And mm-hmm. you know, questionable. <clears throat> but yeah, it's it's. I would give it so far a solid eight one, <laughs> eight point one. <laughs> Right now, wow! Right now, so Let's see how it is enjoyable. It is a very enjoyable show. I think right now it's number one on Netflix, like being watched. Now they have like the top ten. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah. Think it's number one. Nice. I've been meaning to check out a Cobra Kai too, but I've never seen Karate Kid. Dude, Just I was it. gonna watch like a week ago. I was gonna watch Karate Kid on Netflix, and I was like, maybe not tonight. I'll watch it tomorrow. They took it off that day. All three of the movies, and I was like, I did not know this was happening. They didn't even warn me, like, oh, this title is going to be removed. So going to be gone. Goodbye. Can't watch karate. Yeah, I know, but Just rent it. You could rent it, but mm-hmm. that's cost more. Money. F- fucking blockbuster. What do you mean? <laughs> rent it. Apple TV. 
You can rent from like Amazon. Yeah. That too, yeah. I don't I don't want to support these big companies of Andrews. I'll just <laughs> Of me? Don't you have an yeah, iPhone, you... sir? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait a second, wait, wait, back wait, down wait. to a, a Do you a use razor. um Apple Music or Spotify? Spotify. So you pay for Spotify. <laughs> yeah. So you support a big company. Mm, yes, you do. I, I rather support them. I do it to get Hulu free, so I don't have to pay for Hulu. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> damn! You're just a big old lurch. Scamming. I love it. Wait, Scamming. you know what? Actually, I think Zach owns Karate Kid. I could just get it from quarantine. Here. I have it on VHS. Actually. <laughs> but I was I would assume love that I would have Zach to watch build a brick um, wall around his house. I have to watch the there is no door I to want get to. There is no to. door to get in. <laughs> <laughs> the only door is the small two foot door from mail. That's yeah. it. Mm. And yeah. there's no other way to get in. No, a... no, not even that. I'll get a drum. Pick it <laughs> oh. up. <laughs> I was about to watch uh, Cobra Kai 2, but I was thinking probably should watch Karate Kid. But yes. wait a minute. At least yeah. the first yeah. one. But wait so. a minute. Can't you just watch Co- Cobra Kai without watching Karate Kid? I mean, <laughs> I would watch it, but I feel like I'm going to be missing a lot of things. Missing? Yeah. What would you be missing? Well, because I looked up the cast in, in Cobra Kai. It was in the first Karate Kid. Mm. So I'm missing yes. some story development of characters. Mm. So I feel mm-hmm. like I'm missing all that. Mm. And maybe there'll be flashbacks. I don't know. But, like, I don't want to take that chance. Mm. So I feel like I should watch it. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's shift away from uh, TV and all that. And let's talk about the games. Because finally, we got the prices for the Xboxes this week. Oh, that. Weeks. I thought you meant football. No, 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 no. Thank I was, God, I was about not to football. Hit the snooze button. <laughs> well, there's only been one football game right now, so. But it's coming tomorrow. But you were so tomorrow excited. You were, you were trying day. to get Fuck Andrew you. out of the room. Ah. Tomorrow is game day. some Overwatch League games tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Who Andrew, the Alex, Giants I, are playing tomorrow. <laughs> I know. Alex, I heard Monday. you were you were oh, crying that for Andrew to come watch the game with you. Crying. Yeah, because mm. I mean, that, that game was a snooze fest. It wasn't that good. I mean, it was good at the end, sort of, but. I just knew, like, there's, there's no more. chance. There's no chance. Yeah. All right. We're going to do games. Games. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So the price is finally launched, and one of them was unexpectedly. The Xbox Series S, I think, was leaked, and then after that, they confirmed both of them. At midnight. Midnight. No, they confirmed the, the S first. They waited two days and then confirmed the X. So, so far, we have the Xbox Series X at four ninety nine, and then the Xbox Series S at two ninety nine. Very cheap, in my opinion. Very cheap. I think that these are going to be... At least the Xbox Series S should be a dynamite console. Dynamite. Everybody's going to buy I that. Think so. I think I don't know. I mean, it's You know what's insane, though? It could be ass. Yeah, I don't know if it's trolls, if it's real. I think IGN put up a poll. Someone did. Asking what console they're going to get first. PlayStation 5 still leaps and bounds ahead really? of Xboxes of yep. votes. Man, well, there you have it. It has it has to come down to the exclusives, I guess. I don't know what else it could be because it's clearly not as powerful. Mm-hmm. It's not, huh? Because we like, literally don't know the cares price though. about that. So, like, just average person, they don't know that. Mm-hmm. Yep. They just go like, "Hey, like this guy we has a PlayStation." We're friends Zach. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I, 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 you guys probably would know too, because like you guys are like, I still I'd don't say, know what like, hardcore means. gamers. Like, but I mean, like, even if you didn't talk to me about this you'd probably just see the marketing saying like oh this is the most powerful console mm-hmm. but because you're like a hardcore gamer you're paying attention to that other people aren't they're just like oh new playstation's coming out like i already have one i'll just yeah. get the mm-hmm. new one mm-hmm. they want to just keep playing spider-man i guess yeah <laughs> Who thought? Dude, uh, I mean, <laughs> if what michael is saying well it, obviously it's true but like if it's not like being like tempted or not not tempted but fucking um you know swayed in a way Actually, it got then, better because I did see that poll and I saw one from a few weeks back, and the one from a few weeks back was even worse. Really? So I think the price Damn. reveals actually helped a little bit. Okay, because looks like I mean the exclusives, man, are powering the PlayStation Five <laughs> Why so yet again. Mad. Why are you looking He's at me? So because well, I remember back in the day, like we were talking like two years ago. Your face. I was oh asking like, where are the Xbox exclu- exclusives that look good besides Halo and Gears? They're there, bro. And then I was, and we were thinking like, Hellblade. Everybody was like, what Andrew said to me, "You played Plants vs. Zombies." The, the, the sun <laughs> exclusive, sir. <laughs> Andrew said to me, "The, the, the studios were just bought. 100%. They are coming," and I'm like. It's the next generation. 
Where are they? They they came and went. <laughs> I just think they're already gone. Are they really that bad? They're still coming. They're not here yet. What are you like, talking about? Are they that bad? Are they that bad? What, the ex- what exclusives? What are you talking about? They Which ones? <laughs> Where are they? Alec, they should Alec, be gone. They, <laughs> they bought the they bought the company like two years ago. And when they bought them, now they're making new games for it. The Xbox. Well, but they should have bought them also earlier. the companies that they bought. They're still under the commitments to release the games that they were already making, and they're in, under commitments to release on PlayStation and Xbox. Mm-hmm. So all those games, like most of them, were still going to be multi-platform, but now they're going to be working on the the exclusive stuff after they release that but stuff. Don't so it's they, still going to be years. Don't they care about the sell of the, the sales of their consoles coming out they, though? They, they, he said they're under commitment. Do you want them to no, break no? The but I'm saying can't break the law. But <laughs> what, what I'm saying is, <laughs> what I'm saying is, maybe break they the should. What they should be doing is, they should have had this planned out years ago to happen. What, <laughs> what to happen? Okay. So like, they're if doing they, their best. But they didn't bro, have it's not enough. Before. It's no not enough. No one can though. No one can prepare this, it, that far in advance. It isn't enough to shift the power. They. No. I thought that this year was going to be the year that Xbox takes over. Oh, it's it coming. should have been. It's coming. It. Coming when? It'll happen but, before you know it, and it's just going to happen. There won't be a specific end now. It's just going to happen. When did they ever even set that expectation? That's, it's solely you who made that mm, expectation. No, bro, no. Yes. No, that's not when it. When have they ever said that? Every E3, okay, after, no. <laughs> after, after the Xbox One reveal, that E3 was garbage. It was terrible, right? But everyone after that seem to be improving a little bit more and more and more. Okay. And I feel like they've been building this whole thing about Xbox Game Studios, Game Pass, new more exclusives, a better console, better games for gamers, right? And th- it's just kind of this year, lies? this year, this this showcase kind of fell flat for me, honestly. And now it's showing in the, in the fucking, the, the polls and all that shit. So and it's <laughs> like, if, 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 if not now, <laughs> when? I, I don't understand. And now Halo's delayed another big blow to Xbox. I mean, fuck, put it in the grave already, I mean, honestly. And then people are saying, like, well, Microsoft doesn't really care about their new consoles. Then why fucking make them? Why make them? Why make them? Why? I don't understand. What What do you care about, Microsoft? What do money. you care about? Money. Like no. Right? No. 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 Oh, they shouldn't care about money? Okay. No, I'm saying they should care about money, but why even make a console if you don't care about the console? Because people want them. Yeah, I want them. You do too. I do, but like, I have no incentive of buying it when it comes out, okay. though. All right, then buy it when you buy it. But yes, like I said before, they don't care if you buy it right away. Are you still playing? The they games? should care though. Are you still if they're making life? it to come out this year, they should care about that. Are you still? Are you still paying Xbox Live? Yeah. Are you Xbox Live or yeah. Ultimate? Well, either I one. Doesn't either one. <laughs> uh, I are think you? So. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. they don't. That's care. it. I mean, but that's what you have to. You have to pay that to it play online. Matter. They made money. Exactly. PlayStation has that too, though. All right. Do you have uh-huh. PSN? No. Th- that's it. That's it. Yeah. You're telling me Alex, that th- it's that simple. It's Alex, really that's where they get most simple. of their money. No. What? That's where they get most of their money. But is through that. I'm, what Every I'm saying is, why person. even invest all this time in the consoles if you don't How else care you about the console? You have to, because the PlayStation will. So you have to. No, you, you don't. You're thinking about this so wrong, Alex. You should take it. Did you miss Econ 101? No, I did not. <clears throat> I just like don't understand did. this whole thing this of is very basic economics at work no no yes i'm telling you yes <laughs> so you're no, saying that they don't true. really care about the console then. no they do care about the console they're putting it out there so there's an alternative and just playing on your they place, don't care PlayStation now or the pc but, yeah but but that doesn't make any sense to me though why would they not care now because i don't understand that one out so are they. they so they should care they care about just putting out a console they don't care how much they sell that is utter bullshit. They just care about accumulating more people subscribed to Into Game the Pass ecosystem. or Xbox Live. That that just seems odd. I, I don't it buy that. Doesn't. I don't buy that though. Because we literally pay twenty bucks a month. Well, Alex, I I will say this is a new strategy. Like nobody's done this before. Or at least a console maker mm-hmm. hasn't done this before. So that might be why you're confused. Because this is a new strategy. Totally mm-hmm. new. It's out of left field. Because PlayStation isn't doing it. But they're they're starting to adjust things to kind of match their strategy because they're starting to realize like hey microsoft is onto something they're making way more money now that's why i think it was like last week or two weeks ago they announced like hey like all of our exclusives or at least most of them are going to be coming to pc 
because they're like, hey, this is just free money for us. Mm. So why not? <laughs> that's that's dark. That's called evolution. That's that, that, that is very very dark, but dark. You, you, it, you you sound it's good games. for everybody. You sound right though. Like I, I believe sound that though. Right is right. Yeah. Well, why is this even dark? This is good. More people get to play games. I know, but it feels like it's it's almost like it's like it almost feels like a cheaply it way like to a make a new product. Like you, like you prefer the segregation you, of gamers. But no, no, I don't prefer that. <laughs> I, I, I'm totally against that. I hate that. But I feel like when that ha- when it just to me it feels like this is this whole generation. It seems like a dirty trick. Like it's like you're p- not putting in a lot of effort and what people want you're just like oh yeah we have all these things here's our console don't buy it though we don't want you to buy it we want you to have <laughs> xbox live yeah 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 so why would you even push out a console well eventually they're they not are saying gonna have to buy a new buy console it. yeah hmm? eventually you do have to buy a new console eventually yes yeah. they break they don't last forever well and then also games are going to start to evolve to the mm-hmm. point where they can't run on the xbox one so, so you need the new console they got you already it's over but Just that's not going to happen for a couple years. That's why right now they don't care if you buy the new one because you don't need it yet. But mm-hmm. then next couple years, that's when all the deals are really going to be pushing. Like, hey, the Series X, it's 500 but maybe there's this deal. It's 400 for, like, this week. Jump in. We'll put in, like, um, Avowed, I think, mm-hmm. that, like, game they showed off at E3 that actually looked really cool, but it's a few years out. Like, that would be the great time. Like, hey, this game, like, it's going to be our console seller. This is what we're going to be bundling it with. This is why we're going to... Like, this is going to be the reason everybody's going to finally upgrade. Mm. I'll tell you what game that they won't upgrade for. Madden. The new Madden. Well, it's a sports game. Have you guys... But uh, have you seen the new Madden, <laughs> no though? Who gives a shit about sports games? But, dude, this one looks awful. I mean, I'm sure I you know, know, Zach. It looks fucking I, I, terrible. I, I've <laughs> heard it, it. it is bad. I've seen, uh, like, things where like, they don't even get the names right. On the jerseys, they have like, Matt. You know how like in the practice field or whatever, they have no. like all these like things in the background, like a ice chest or whatever. They would have Madden 19 on that bitch. Oh, I saw that. And Madden 21. That was funny. And I was watching like how dumb, how dumb fuck the AI is <laughs> dumb in that fuck. game. Like because I, I watch a lot of football and I played not as much Madden, but I watch a lot of football. And the AI in this game is fucking atrociously dumb. <laughs> I, like, I wouldn't know. I swear to God. Yeah, me, please. Like, the, 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 the fucking... The, the, Andrew, the, please. The, the defensive <laughs> players do not know how to cover receivers or anybody. Isn't that how someone loses? <laughs> someone no. Someone has to suck. No, dude, but, like, <laughs> this AI yeah, is I even mean, dumber than ever. actual games, they're blown coverages all over the place. But, dude, like, these... these the, no, Does but it every should be better have in the be game, be though. It should be better. The best. Not everyone yeah, can be the best, bro. Someone's got to be last. No, but yeah. the gameplay-wise, it looks terrible. It looks... The way they run still, I, I just hate the way they run. I really do. Like, it doesn't... How do they it run? It doesn't feel like I'm on the field with them. It feels like I'm you're just... You're not. Like, you're at home. No, but it looks... They still run like a video game. It's like... It is a video game. But, like, okay, <laughs> but, like, with these games that are simulating a real-life game, oh, yeah. they should be evolving on that thing, on that degree. That's what I'm saying about FIFA, too. When they run in FIFA, holy fuck, they run so stupid. Because if you would be, okay, let's say, like, you're running across the field and you're tracking somebody, right? Yeah. They would literally be like this and then tweak their whole body <laughs> around like this and keep running like that. It looks so stupid. So when I see that, like, I'm seeing these little things that aren't, aren't being improved on. I'm like, get your shit together. Fucking improve something. You're so mean. <laughs> yep. I love that. That should be our sports rant. Mm-hmm. But that was, I mean, you know. That, that, that game, I've heard, like, it has, like, a terrible reviews on Metacritic and everything, and it's, like, it's not doing well Were at all. Were you gonna get it? Fuck no. I, well, first of all, I'm not even a big Madden fan. You don't like football? So, like, I love football. I love watching football. I love watching football. But after NFL Street, nah, Dang, I'm on, done. Man. I'm done. NFL Street was one of the best games, football games ever. Well, actually, it might. Yes. Huh? Because, um... EA, they still have their exclusivity deal to have the simulation uh, game, but I guess they signed a deal with 2K or oh, some yeah, other company to let them make like an arcade um, football game. Because isn't game. 2K getting the rights to the NFL too, along yeah. with EA? But only for arcade this, style this games, one, yeah, not yeah. simulation. So it can't be like, you know, realistic. NFL? Yeah, yeah, NFL like Sunday games like that. Oh, I mean, it can't, but, like, it's not supposed to be, like, as realistic as possible. It's supposed (laughs) to be, like, weird and and wacky and stuff like that. 
So is it going to be like NFL Street or what? It could like NFL it, it could Arcade. Be like NFL but what Blitz, I'm saying is, it's, it's not going to be like eleven on eleven. Not like real. No, it can be, but it's, it's, it's just not four. supposed. Alex, what I'm <laughs> saying four, is, four it's supposed four. to have like some wacky twist, so it's not like, it's like totally Overwatch, serious. Like six. you're playing the whole season okay, to get so, to the Super Bowl. So Everything is I'm sorry, exactly I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So like NFL Blitz, like that maybe. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, just something like that where it's not exactly like. Yeah, where they play like okay, football, gotcha, gotcha. football. <laughs> not, not like yeah. a brain yeah, it could be game. Like that. Yeah. yeah, I want to see the football catch on fire. Yeah, they I want all that stuff again. Yeah. NFL Blitz was fucking brutal. Holy fuck, man! But it was so much fun. You could like beat up the guy after you tackled him. <laughs> Not just beat up Straight on him, up. but you can run up to him do. and like, like throw your whole body on him. Like, yeah. Like that. That was so much fun. Like that game uh, that I always liked. I brought it to your house one time, Alex. NFL Blitz, the league. You would do like, if you got the tackle just right, you could spam a button <clears throat> and like dislocate their knee. You could like <laughs> take off their helmet and then like hit them with it. That might be hit a them with their own the helmet top, though. No, that's but what that's we need. what it is. Like wow. that's the arcade Blitz stuff. The league of it. was that rated M? <laughs> no, it was rated M. I don't know. It's pretty gory. Probably. <laughs> so probably was. Rated that's a M. game I would not want to play against Michael because yeah. I, I I've heard how he plays and he plays dirty. It's not. It's <laughs> like it's, you just build up your little meter and it's like okay you can do an extreme tackle mm-hmm. now. But so like, then you do it and you like break their Michael, kidney. You or told me like before that. like. If you were on defense, you would basically cross offsides every uh, single time to try and hurt the quarterback. <laughs> no, that was Madden. I would get so mad of how realistic it was, and I was losing that I would, I would, you would yeah, just cross the line of scrimmage player. and just kill the. It'd be like flag. I don't care. I'll do it again, just to kill the quarterback. And then lose, lose the game. Yep. Yeah. Michael's dirty. It's a bad man. <laughs> uh, and one more thing in gaming, I think that we had uh, this week the reveal. Of Call of Duty, Black Ops Cold War multiplayer. Yay! Oh, yeah. It's all right. Woke up at 10 a.m. to watch it. Big waste of time. Gotta say. You don't like Black Ops. Any of the four. Well, <clears throat> this is Why did you watch it? Because I was excited. Income poop. You know I was. Come on. You I know, know I was. I, 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 I know. So I want to get your thoughts on it. You're a pro Black Ops guy. Yeah. What did you think of it? <laughs> what did you honestly think of it? I don't know about pro. <laughs> yeah, I want to say pro. Just enthusiast. No, you're <laughs> pro Black Ops. I didn't go pro. Nah. You're, I'm not saying you're a professional. You think he has a cod league skin, a van? <laughs> but you are. You're, I'm saying like when you when we talk about Call of Duty, that your number one one of your number one games is Black Ops. Hell so yeah! You're very, you're very pro Black Ops. Yes. So let me get your thoughts on first of all the trailer. Ass. Then, <laughs> I hated the trailer. Well, the trailer's never like anything close to what the game actually is. So it's just really? like, oh, oh, no, not really. Well, I mean, it has you them playing on the maps, the game modes, but mm-hmm. the angles that they, the way they cut it, and the way they have their shots, it's nothing like the game. So I it's hate. It's like that. they're trying to be Battlefield. Yeah, in their trailers. They make it so bombastic I, and crazy. And it's like the game is nothing like this. I think that uh, Treyarch does a better job at making it like they come up with more like fun stuff to do like the game modes and everything like wager matches that was first that in black ops fun. one right and then the, like all that stuff it was like a like, whole bunch cool. of new shit yeah i feel oh, like they always was... bring more to the table <laughs> that, was that went so bad <laughs> <laughs> well i feel like i loved I, it but it went so bad <laughs> when i saw the trailer i was like yeah this is definitely a black ops game what do you think the actual black gameplay ops. that they showed afterwards so the gameplay what i saw and then i've been i've been looking up gameplay like recently through the past few days because um, I didn't see all that much when I first saw it. Because I had to do, you know, I got off the, the stream and whatever. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. I've been looking up people playing it and all that. And I'm, 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 I'm thinking like, hmm, the game modes look okay, right? They look kind of fun. I, I know that they have, you know, classic coming back, team deathmatch, a new form of domination. There's one when you have to like extract somebody. So somebody has a pistol. You got a team that that could be a terrible game mode. Could be, could be good though. <laughs> yeah. Um. And. I enjoy the era, but I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm having deja vu all, all over again. I think you were supposed to. You know what I mean? Like, because we just had Call of Duty Modern Warfare, mm-hmm. right? A game that leaped ahead of Call of Duty. A game that actually took you, a... You can't go above Call, actual, Call of Duty. No, 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 no. But in the quality of Call of Duty, mm-hmm. it took a massive leap. Mm-hmm. Not only in the graphics, engine, gun gun design, gun animation, oh, gun sound effects. Come on. All sound effects, Come on, really. Stand by. Movement. <clears throat> Very good campaign, too. And then, it's the same thing happened 10 years ago, I think. I saw the trailer of the gameplay. I feel like it's sort of a downgrade, honestly. 
and I know it's Treyarch, and I know that it's Infinity War, and they're different developers, obviously. <laughs> but I feel like it just like I'm I'm not getting a, a newer feeling, newer. smoother game. I feel like it's just a downgrade, to be honest with you. The sound isn't that great. The guns don't look that good. I know it's an alpha, and we haven't played it yet. But from my first impressions, um, the guns don't look that great. The attachments kind of look wonky on some some guns. It looks like a bit like arcadey, which I'm not a fan of. Obviously, I hate Black Ops. I love, <laughs> I love I love the grittiness and the realism of Modern Warfare because I feel like it it just made it so You're much. Okay. It just made everything so punchy and so like I felt it all. It, it was nice. The the sound animation was good and all that, or the sound effects. Sorry. Up, and the, and then like um there's no like from what i've heard there's no like big massive mode like ground war coming out with this one so i know ground war is not that good right now but like you know at least they tried something new obviously that led to warzone being a massive hit but overall like the whole the the color palette too i, I don't like the colors um the way just the way the game feels i don't like the little health bar above your guy i feel like that's kind of distracting i feel like you can look at that more than like the actual person you're shooting just to see if they're gonna die soon um and yeah i just wasn't very impressed feels like a downgrade feels like deja vu like fucking four deja times. vu all Three, five over again deja vu all six over again. <laughs> all right silence you so <clears throat> it does feel like deja vu i said this when you were talking because it's supposed to feel like deja vu it's basically a reboot of black ops one but it's a sequel so it looks like black ops one it almost plays like black ops one but it's all upgraded for now time. Now you were saying, well, it, it, it's a step down from Modern Warfare. Why would you... So let's say in, in this perfect scenario, it is like Modern Warfare. It's ca- it's the Black Ops story, it's the setting, all the same, except it just looks like Modern Warfare. Why would you want that? Because in, it's perfect. Like what I'm saying but is why like... why would it, you want like no, no, no. another game just like Modern Warfare? I'm not saying I don't want it like Modern Warfare. You can have it being... The movement be different, but I'm saying like the just the way it looks... It doesn't look that good. But why it doesn't would you want sound it to look that good the same either. as Modern Warfare? Because I want it to be consistent. I feel like if if it's gonna it's if it's gonna be, you already have a new era, new guns, new weapons, new new ways to move around the map. You know, that's gonna be different. It's in the '80s, obviously. So that's gonna be all different. The way it feels and the way it moves should be consistent. You you're, you're taking away this like cinematically, like um, amazing sounds in your headset. You're taking that away and you're almost going to like some kind of pop gun like sounding guns and I, I don't like that i don't think that's good it really just is a downgrade i'm sorry well i have a solution <laughs> for you but first of all uh it looks like classic treyarch just mm. bare bones more arcadey than most um it has all the feels of black ops which i love thank god but the solution for you so i'm excited i cannot wait i already pre-ordered and alex the solution for you is to just keep playing modern warfare don't stop because before when Modern Warfare, th- when Modern Warfare, uh, when Black Ops came out, you were like, "It's not like Modern Warfare 2," but you stopped, and I was concerned. I was confused. I was like, "Wait a minute, you have Modern Warfare 2. The next game isn't Modern Warfare 2. Why don't you just keep playing Modern Warfare 2?" But you didn't. You stopped because everybody else is playing fucking and then Black they're, Ops, and then they even granted you your biggest wish ever, Modern Warfare 2 too, and then you weren't happy. <laughs> <laughs> we all kind of fell off that at the same time. So. I-, I thought it was Modern Warfare 2 too. I thought it was good. All I can say <laughs> is. But, so that's my that's what I'm saying. Just keep playing Modern Warfare, uh, the new one. So you you're telling everyone, like, hey, I support your game. Just keep playing it. Don't stop. I don't I don't think I will. Good. What about what about what do you guys so, think? Though? Because we've kind of talked a bit. Zach, you go first. Oh really? No. Okay. Yeah yeah, you go first. All right. Um, yeah. So Alex is a little bit onto something with the downgrading graphics because. I mean, there's a good reason for that. Uh, it's because they are not using the new engine. They went back to the Black Ops 4 engine. Isn't it like I guess... sort of modified a bit? Like, is it like... No, it's a brand new it's engine. It's brand new? Okay. Oh, yeah. Shit. But I think because they had to take over, cause, or at least that was that's what the rumor was, that they had to take <clears> over for their third company because I guess they were having so many problems. They had to jump in and basically make this game in two years rather than three so i guess they didn't have time to get acclimated to the new engine so they had to you know keep the old thing so that's why things seem like a little bit of a step back graphically i think the sound also is a bit flat like i i do agree with that like the guns definitely do not sound very realistic realistic and i think that is uh because of the engine is like they definitely took like huge leaps forward in the engine to make guns sound more realistic but since they're on the old one they can't do that it has to sound more like black ops 4 
Uh, so I think that's more of a technical limitation, not like their choice. Uh, but also Andrew is right. Like they definitely did want to go back to the basics. They wanted this to be Black Ops One or like a, a, a reboot of Black Ops. And so I think those people that like that, they're going to be really happy. Um, a little bit sad that like they couldn't move to the new engine because I'd be excited to see Black Ops in the new engine. Oh hell yeah! Like being able to have like the the amount of detail in that setting, the mm. '80s and stuff like that. That'd be really cool. Um, gameplay, um, I wasn't a huge fan of Black Ops. Like I, I think I liked it more than you. Like I actually played it, but like I wasn't the biggest fan. Um, I, I'll give it a shot. Like uh, I'll try the beta. See, see if that can sell me. If they, if it's good, I'll, I'll be all on board. But like right now, I am very skeptical. Uh, I also am not a huge fan of the health bars. It just seems like a MOBA to me, like uh, League of Legends for people that don't know what that is. Um, but I mean, there, I know there's an option to turn that off, so I'd probably just do that. Oh, good, good. Go, right, Michael. 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 Oh, is it me now? Yeah. Okay, hit him. Um, <laughs> What I am I'm off? somewhere in between Zach and Andrew. I haven't seen enough yet to make me want to pre-order for day one, but I'm still excited because I really liked Black Ops 1. Besides Modern Warfare, the new one, that's probably the one I played the most. I think I got to like 14th Prestige, 13th Prestige on there. So I played that one a lot, and it was only out for like a year before the next game. Um, but I'm okay with them going back to more arcadey style and leaning away from the realistic because they did it again it's like oh, it's not as cool because they just did it like more realism call of duty so going back to it is fine for me because it's kind of refreshing know what i mean uh, honestly yes. no I, I don't oh um, because <laughs> okay because um, you want you want it to be the same because it's not going to be the same it's in the 80s i, I already said but it's gonna look it's, exactly it's, like modern warfare though <laughs> as it should and so it's the no, same. No, 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 no. It's just it's not the same. Andrew's it's, like over here. It's, it's, Alex Andrew's is like all over his No, no, no. It's, it's not even that. It's you keep that engine because that engine is beautiful. But it's a triumph. They can't. But they should have. They just straight up didn't. But they should have. That's what I'm saying. But then there would, if they did, there would be no game this year. It would not be. Here. That's what they should have done. It wouldn't exist. They shouldn't have had a game at all this year. There probably isn't going to be one next year. Well, they should. The, thank God, because <laughs> because I feel like. Like I've said this before. No, I have said this. I've said this before. The modern warfare that we have now again. is an absolute cracker of a game. It is. Cracker. You can honestly play that game for another year and be fine. It'd be totally fine with it. What? Well, the cracker's a good thing. Yeah, it's a cracker of a game. I thought. I thought. No. I thought you meant cracker like plain like Alex. Bad. No, Alex. I, I, here's I, a perfect yes, solution. Is Warzone? Entirely. It's gonna be both. It's gonna be modern warfare and Black Ops together. Everything from both games all in one. Mm-hmm. So okay. it doesn't right. matter if, like, Michael and Andrew, if they're all in on it, you can still play with them in Warzone. And it'll be fantastic. I know, I know. You can play your modern warfare, like, I'm only going to use these guns and only do those things. And then they can do either, like, all Black Ops or just a mix of both. Mm-hmm. And everybody wins. Who cares? But I like that, though. <laughs> but I also like the multiplayer of modern warfare. I think it's very, very fun. But and Keep I, playing. I don't. And I, but you I have play to keep it. playing if you stop. <laughs> uh, I know. But the thing is, I also wanted to play with you guys, though. And I... I I would own I, both games. Yeah, do you think they're going to sell it? Dude, you're not going to fucking totally dump. You, you actually, you are going to dump <laughs> Modern Warfare as soon as Black Ops comes out. So don't even talk about yeah, it. Yeah, I think okay? Andrew might. You're going you're, you're, you're gonna to dump it. I already know that. So are you, Michael. You are gonna. You guys are going to dump you it. You don't know that. You're not I, Michael. I know for a fact you will. Oh, I know for a fact that you guys will. They're um, very different games, though. I know that they are, but I feel like Michael because it that. is new and there's all these unlockable it. things... It's just going to be a fresh new slate. You know? I mean, yeah, obviously, like, obviously like they'll this... put more time into that, but like, it's not like it's they're never going to touch Modern Warfare again. Um, and if they do, it's going to be very late, and you're always going to be fucking so invested in Black Ops, and I'm going to be left alone and just by myself. Oh my! Oh, what was That's Alex? And he's fault. just going to go back to The Witcher again. Yes, I'll have to It'll always it again. Arms to him. No one else is. I have to replay it again, but I'll, I'll I'll leave it at this. It's your fault for not wanting to play other games. No, that's true. What? I, I just, I just, I, I, I want to play a good game. Oh, want to play a good game. But okay. I'll right, leave, leave it at what? Leave it at. Leave it at this. Up. Call of Duty. You, you said this many times. Know your history. You clearly did not. Oh. All right. Um. <laughs> clearly did not. Anything else, guys? We got two minutes left. No, I'll no. save it for next time. You did? okay? Cool. 
No, nobody else. Love you, Andrew. Love you, That's all I'll say. All right, guys. Miss thank you, you for um, listening to this episode of the podcast. <laughs> um, you guys can find us on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Podbean.com, at Out of the Ordinary Friends. We will see you guys next week. <laughs>